Hey guys, it is David from the Helmet Center. Today I'm gonna to talk about something near and dear to my heart, my bandit. If you guys have been with us for any of our frozen turkey rides, uh, track days, um, drag races, events, there's a pretty good chance you've been around in the last 18 years. You've probably seen my bike, uh, the legendary Bandito. This bike has beat a lot of fast bikes and spent a lot of laps on a track, done a lot of long range touring. It's done everything, which is why I love this bike so much. So I'm gonna tell you quickly the story on how I, how I acquired this bike. I bought this bike in uh, 2000 for 1500 bucks from a guy on eBay, back when everybody was doing eBay, sight unseen. The guy lived in Texas, moved to California, brought all his stuff with, including this bike, was there for maybe six months and got transferred back to Texas for work. So he left the bike at a buddy's house and it sat there for about a year. Finally, his buddy says, hey man, get this bike out of here. So the buddy took some pictures and threw it up on eBay. So I offered the guy 1500 bucks and I said, well, I'll tell you what, I'll give you another 300 if I make it back to Phoenix. He says, okay, deal. I buy a one-way ticket to San Jose, I fly in on a Friday night at, man, must have been midnight, 1 a.m. I take a cab ride, long before there was Ubers and Lyfts, took a cab ride to this guy's house. When I get there, the motorcycle is just sitting in the driveway with the key in it. So I'm like, oh, that was easy enough, right? So I hop on the bike, fires right up. I'm like, yeah, right. So I need gas. So I drive a mile from the guy's house to the gas station. By the time I get there, I look down at my boot and it is soaking wet with motor oil. Uh, I'm like, oh my God. So I drive, I fill it up, I put uh, paper towels in my boot to try and keep the oil out of my sock, okay? I ride all the way down to San Bernardino. I find a uh, Suzuki dealer that's open on a Saturday morning. This is long before we owned the Helm Center. And I wait out front till they open. Luckily, it was just the valve covered gasket needed to be torqued down and that helped, that solved that issue. But it was also leaking gas. Every time I gas it up, it would leak gas for the next I don't know, 50, 100 miles, right? So I'm going through um, Death Valley in July in black leathers and the gas gauge is just going like this as I'm riding, right? I'm like, my God, I'm gonna die in the middle of Death Valley on this bike. Got into a gas station on fumes, filled the thing up and got it home. So over the years, I have done so much to this bike but kept it pretty much original. I've crashed this bike. I met my wife on this bike. I've done track days on this bike. I've done drag racing on this bike. Um, fastest time, by the way, is a 1081, if anybody wants to try and beat the Bandito. Um, I've taken on frozen turkey rides. I've taken a two up with my kid on the back. I've taken it to California, to Nevada, to Texas, to you name it. This bike's been everywhere. It's got about 58,000 miles on the original engine. So the cool thing about this bike is it is the first one off the assembly line in 1998. My VIN ends in 00001. And when I first bought it and I took it to the motor vehicle department in uh, Arizona, the guy looks at me and says, hey man, is this some kind of prototype bike? I said, nah man, it's just a dime a dozen bandit. He goes, wow, I've never seen a VIN this low. I don't know, I never even looked at the title. So I said, well, what do you mean? He goes, yeah, I've seen O2s, O3s, O4s, but I've never seen a one. I'm like, Really? So he pulls out the title, sure enough, 000001. So I, intrigued by that, I go home and I start looking it up and think, well, maybe it's you know, number 10,001 or something like that, right? Nope, last five digits are the VIN. This is indeed the first 1998 Bandit 1200 off the assembly line. Side story, when I first talked to the guy who owned it in Texas, he told me he bought it from a buddy that worked at Suzuki. I guess I assumed it was worked at a dealership or something. I don't know, must have been somebody high up because he literally had the first one off the assembly line. So not only is my bandit special to me because it's done a lot of cool things over the years with me, uh, it's shared a lot of memories, it's been through hell and back with me, but it's actually the first one off the assembly line. How many of you guys can say your bike is the first and everyone after that is just a cheap copy? Me and the bandito can.